Yeah, when, uh, when we, we raise an order for whatever customer it may be, we, we, we issue a manufacturing instruction and that goes to the stores, the ink, ink laboratory and also the stencil department. It's all the information that we need for that specific job. Uh, so basically we can grab the raw materials from the stores, we can grab the inks pre-blended or our own recipes that are needed for that project. We also grab the stencils, uh, we create the stencils, some we have in the library file, some we have to uh, put up for the certain job. So this is all taken to the print hall uh, for the order to be made up and uh, dispatched to the customer. So we use Sakurai machines, uh, can be up to between anything 1 to 12 colours uh, printed onto a job. So we process everything that's on the instructions uh, to the finish before we dispatch to the finishing department. Forming process is where we take a flat tile with pre-cut holes and put it into a forming machine to give us turn a 2D product into a 3D product. The first part of the process takes the tile from a feed unit, places it onto a pallet, into the pre-cut holes. The next stage, the pallets move forward and we stamp the tile onto the pallet. From there, the tile continues through the machine into the heater section. This heats the tile up, makes it pliable in order it can be formed. The next stage, we go into it's called the toggle stage. We have a male and female platen tool comes together and we blow hot air through the system and it forces the plastic down onto the shaped formed what we're trying to achieve. The next section after the toggle is when it moves to the robot. The robot takes a, a tile off it, places it into a cutting press, picks up a tile that has already been cut comes back out, drops the scrap part off into a, a bin, moves round and drops three parts onto the conveyor belt. The process begins with the robot picking the foil up from the jig. It's then placed into the mould cavity. The cavity then shuts and hot plastic is injected into the mould. The plastic is in a hopper where it's hit up and then fed into the barrel. The barrel forces the plastic into the mould, packs it out, cools it down. Once it's cooled down, the mould opens, the robot comes in, the mould ejects the part off, the robot collects it, takes it down to a desprewing jig, desprews the part, the robot lifts it out, puts it onto the table for the inspectors to inspect.